Yo, what is up dudes? Welcome back to another tutorial. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to motion track or how I do my motion tracking. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm just going to launch up After Effects right now. Okay, there we go. After Effects has launched up. And now we're just going to get started by creating a new composition. Make the resolution of your composition to whatever the resolution of your video is. Minus 1600 by 900. Frame rate, make it whatever you want. I do 30. Duration, make it whatever you want. I do 30 seconds. Okay, there we go. So now, first thing we're going to do is find a clip. Hmm, what should I use? I'm going to use my Canals 4K Deagle clip. And by the way, guys, motion tracking works best if there aren't any like figures or models in the clip. So if you have clips that are only that have world depth and mat, you're in luck because motion tracking with all of them combined is a pain. So, you know, find some clips that are that have the world mat and depth clips. Um, I'm using my own recorded clips, but I'll link some in the description if you want if you want to find some stuff like that. So yeah. So now that we got all our clips imported, let's just drag them all onto the timeline. So let's start with our world clip, then our depth of field clip, and then our matte clip on top. I'm just going to use color key to key out the green screen. You can use key light or whatever works best for you. My color key settings are really simple. It's just 155 and 1. And then just use the eyedropper tool and click on the green screen. But that's basically what I do for that. So, as you can see, we pretty much already got everything set up. Now we just gotta duplicate this. If you haven't seen my last tutorial, I recommend watching my last tutorial. Otherwise, you're probably wondering, what the hell am I doing? But basically, I'm just making my depth of field thing work. So, as you can see, my depth of field clip's in. And we got our depth of field all set up. But other than that, let's get right on, let's get right on to the tutorial. So you're going to want to find the area you want to motion track. So for me, I'm probably going to motion track somewhere right here. This looks nice. Yeah, so let's use this part right here. So you're going to want to select the bottom clip, control shift D, and that should split the clip. I'm just going to go maybe two seconds or so. And then hit control shift D again. And boom, we got our whole clip split out. So here we go. Here's our clip. And now I've seen a lot of people motion track using stuff like Mocha or Fayin. Uh I prefer the um, old fashioned, just basic After Effects motion tracking. Uh, it works best for me. So what you're going to do now is select the clip. Right click on it. Go to track and stabilize and click on track camera. And as you guys can see, it's doing some stuff in the background. Um, depending on what frame rate your clips are, this may take a while. My clips are 600 frames per second, so this might take a few minutes. Okay, so we are back. It finished tracking. Um, so yeah, it's pretty it's pretty tracked, all right? So next thing I'm going to want to do is select your clip. And uh, if the dots don't come up that simple, just click on render track points. And you should see dots everywhere. Let me hide that part there we go so you should see dots everywhere around your thing if you can't see them you can just increase the point of them and let me also um hide this thing right here there we go yeah let me hide this one right here the two the top stuff but yeah here we go so here's our tracked clip so so the next thing you're going to want to do is you can pretty much motion track anything you can motion track pictures you can motion track effects even particular, you can have some particular here if you want. So yeah, let's just get into all that stuff. So let's start off simple. Let's start off with text. So let's motion track some text up here maybe. Create text and camera. Right click once you do that. And let me just control shift D here. And control shift D here. And there we go. There's our text. We can... Press S on the keyboard when selected. It can scale it around. If it's not where you want it to be, just use these handy dandy little arrows to change the location of it. And there we go. We got motion track text just chilling there. And you can also hide these if you don't want them. But there we go. We can change it to whatever. We'll just call it 
tutorial. Maybe make it oh crap. Maybe reduce the scale a little bit, and there we go. We have some motion track text, and sorry about my dog. My dog is like doing weird stuff back there. But here we go. Here's our motion track text. So we what we can do is we can um drag this down below our mat clip. And it should look pretty nice. I mean, yeah. It should work nice. We only did it for two seconds. See if it's only going to go up to there. But there is our text. We motion track text here. Now, you're probably wondering, well, that's pretty boring. What can we do with it? Well, we can do the um, cl the classic Maniac style. If you know who Maniac is, this is how he does his text. He basically just puts um, Trap Code Shine, the effect on it. And we can um, move it around. We can even keyframe it around. But his text is mainly just white like that. So that's how Maniac does his text. He um, probably adds some 3D whites behind the text and then changes it from 2D to 3D. But that's that could be a whole nother tutorial. But that's how you get the classic Maniac text. Maybe change it over there. And yeah, that's how you do that. So while text is cool and all, I'm pretty sure you guys want to see other stuff. So let's get into some more stuff. So we got our basic text up there. Uh, we can add some more stuff. We can add maybe, here, let me clear this over here. We can add maybe some stuff over here. Let's say we want to add a picture. We can select our um, hold shift, select all your little dots, and then press create solid. And that should create a solid there. Now. Now we don't really want the solid, we're going to change the position of the solid to something else, like a picture maybe. But what's nice about using um, world clips and mat clips is that the body can go over it, you know, no problem without any, any issues or anything like that. So yeah, we got a solid there. And let me find a picture to motion track onto the solid. So yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I found the picture I want a motion track. Let me just drag it into my After Effects project folder. Here we go. And let me just make it the duration of the clip. So Control Shift D. Delete this right here. And now what we're going to want to do is select the track thing, the little solid. Press P on the keyboard. You're going to want to get the uh, picture of whatever picture you want a motion track make sure this box right here is checked otherwise it won't work and as you guys can see it's already motion track already just like that but we want it on the floor so we're gonna press P again and what we're gonna do we're gonna control we're gonna select the position on the solid control C control V control C control V control C and control V we're gonna do that for all of the coordinates so now that our thing is, um, now that our little Roblox guy is positioned, and my dog won't stop making weird noises, Jesus. Anyway, now that our little Roblox guy is just chilling there, we can do the same with orientation. So control C, go to here, control V, control C, control V, and lastly control C and control V. And there we go, we got our Roblox guy motion track. We can delete the solid now because we won't be needing it anymore. We can scale the Roblox guy larger. And boom, as you guys can see, we now have a Roblox guy motion track onto the floor. And that's basically that, so yeah. And of course, we can add you know the usual effects onto him. Hmm, we can maybe add, let's do it, just a basic generic glow onto him. There we go, just a nice glow on the Roblox guy. Some effects may be clipped on here, however, so yeah, keep that in mind. So, for an example, an, an effect that'll get clipped is S Glow. Let me find it, here it is. So, S Glow will be, will in fact be clipped, you guys can see by the edge over there. So, yeah, that's the sad part about it, so keep that in mind. Okay, so we covered how to motion track text and how to motion track pictures. Now I'm going to show you how to motion track particles, which is extremely super easy. This is how 
Um, I've seen Ruiv and other editors do this. This is like the most basic particle thing ever. Just gotta make sure you have trap code particular to plug in. But you're just gonna wanna create a black solid, just a basic black solid, put particular on it, and boom. It's just like that, it's already motion track. But you know, that we don't wanna, we don't want just, you know, random particles. But yeah, let's make something cool. So what you're gonna want to do is open up the uh, tra the trap code particular designer, and let's just make some basic particles, like extremely basic. So um, let's see what we can do here. Make sure your emitter is over here. Change it from point to box, and emitter size. You can just make it bigger. You can change the position of it a little bit. Add more particles or whatever. Let me increase this to like a thousand maybe. So yeah, we got our particles over here. Particle type, you can keep it. Um, let me see what else we can do here. We can add a, a bell curve. That just makes them fade out without, you know, just some... Because by default, they will just disappear out of nowhere. But you can, make a, you can add a fade onto them, which is nice. So another thing you can do is decrease the velocity on the particle motion to like 20 maybe this will make the particles move slower you can also go to physics add some air which will basically just move them you can add wind on them make them go that way or you can even you can even make them go up or down or you can just have them chill you know also, same with turbulence. You can go here to blocks, add some turbulent. This will basically just make them, you know, move back and forth a little. So we can add effect position, crank that up, and that'll just basically just make basically kind of like they're in a blender, as I as I like to think of it. But yeah, let's we'll just keep that really really minor and subtle. We can also change the particle type. So instead of fear, we can add. Cloud lit, which is what I usually do. But yeah, these are just some basic particles. Nothing too special, nothing too crazy. So we're just going to hit apply. And boom, we now have some particles. But, we, you know, we, let's change it up a bit. We, let's open up emitter. And we can change the position. We can choose where we want them to be. I see we make them further back a little. And... Boom, we now have particles. This is how Ruiv and other editors do it. But yeah, just some basic particles. And we can even add some glow on these. That's what I like about particular. There isn't any clipping. You can just straight up add some glow on them. And boom, we have created a nice little particle system. So yeah, guys, that is basically the tutorial. Um, you can pretty much go crazy. You can go with some crazy particles. You can make a loose particles even. Um, I'll probably do an entire tutorial on how to make a loose particles. But yeah, you can go crazy with your particles. You can add text everywhere like how Maniac does. Um, you can even add pictures on every wall, kind of like how Maniac also does. But yeah, guys, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Um... Comment down below if this helped you out. If you have any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, comment down below what other tutorials you want to see because I'm, I'm trying to bring back tutorials. But yeah, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I'm out.